Hey everybody, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Hello, Hello, a game about what happens when you answer the phone and why you should probably just be an antisocial neat. Oh, okay. It's just, just randomly fall over for no reason, like, that's normal, you know. Hello? Hello? Who is this? I never realized answering the phone can make your screen flash. Akari? Yep. Oh, the uh, tile screen actually changes. I wonder if you unlock words for completing every, uh, ending. And I'm not willing to turn on the TV. Oh! What's this letter here before? I'm lonely. Yeah, aren't we all? Yeah. We went for green. Now you're blue. Now you're purple. Now you're red, which may mean something bad. And now you're sexy? <laughs> uh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Uh, the clock is clicking this time. Oh, yeah, just keep breaking. I mean, I, I don't care at all. I just... You know, it's just... A clock. Mm. That's the same thing from before. What's this? Not in the mood to read. It reflects the room. Why does everything just break in my house? Is this is this how it like what happens every night when I come home and just I walk in and dogs start howling and um, things just start breaking everywhere? Hey, hey, I'm home. Uh, just, I'm just you know just trying not to break too much this time. It's kind of expensive. I'm gonna go sleep. On top of my, uh, covers here. Oh, I, uh, spawned near the bed. That's actually kind of a cool touch. I'll just go back to sleep. <laughs> Clock's ticking again this time. Stop doing that! Did I actually have a clock in here? She was like... Oh! This is a pretty cool house to live in, actually. I mean, once you get past the breaking stuff thing... You know, ghost girls living in your TV. Um, weird, colorful things that turn into sexy things afterwards that live outside your windows. And random letters, so you don't feel completely lonely. Uh, da, 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 da. K. 
can't stand this room. I wonder if things just start automatically turning on if I uh, just hang around. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, okay. I can't tell by the dark- Ah! I fucking hate teddy bears. I fucking knew that fucking bear couldn't be trusted. I just- I just had bad memories from the witch's house and I- You see a teddy bear in a- like a haunted situation, you just know like, uh, but that bear is gonna- He's gonna fuck me over. It's just inevitable. I just keep interacting with this. That seems to be the way I do things. Let's see, does the phone only ring if I go near it? Mm. Hello? So we're not- we don't have a ringing phone this time, we just have, uh, ghostly noises? Is that what we're doing tonight? I mean, we got a new trick every night, uh, I'm just saying, though, that this is... Besides, I'm- I'm expecting a call, and, uh... You know, it just- just doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, whatever. A smartphone. I don't use it much anymore. Hangover, part four. They've been to Las Vegas twice, and they've been to Bangkok. But now they'll be to some spooky house. Watch their goofy hands ticks as they're murdered by things. What happens if I just like ignore you for a while? Do you just get pissed off? Uh. the room. Not in the mood to read. Blood sticks to the mirror. Yeah, whatever. Perhaps only endings unlock as I go. Ah, oh, crap, I'll just answer the damn phone. It's getting annoying. Mushy mush. Akai-san des. <laughs> this is Akari, isn't it? Answer, please! Oh. We got our answer. Oh, a nice, uh, a nice decorating. I see we got a, uh, we got a teddy bear. A teddy bear and I do not quite enjoy food. Not feeling well. Congratulations, you found the diarrhea ending. Yeah, just keep doing that. That's cool and all. I don't hate you. Seems like you hate me. Oh, okay. Yeah, what? Whatever, whatever! Stop that, man. Decorative flowers. It's, uh, just, you know, just keep stalking me, furniture. That's cool, though. I mean, I was feeling kind of lonely anyway, so it's, it's all right. Packed up souvenirs for my girlfriend. Why did they fall down? 
Stop doing that. What a waste of good wine. It reflects the room. Are you just gonna, like, move around randomly? This is how it's gonna go down. Smartphone. What event did they want me to trigger this time? A fireplace. Where are these days? I'm willing to turn on the TV. Yeah, okay. See if there's anything different out here. No, just our old friend. Hi. I can live with that. Hello. Hello. Hey, where are you? Oh, damn it. Don't leave the room. Oh. Yeah, sure. My, the, the bear is dead, which is actually a good thing in my... Oh, okay. Enough of this, okay? Please. I wonder if I murdered my girlfriend and this is like some kind of weird limbo. Oh. Okay. Oh. Why is there a barrel in this room? Akari, what do you want from me? You want me to read the diary? Why would a female ghost be making male ghost noises? August 9th. In two days, it'll be six years of dating Katsuki. I decide I'll make this his favorite meal. I'm sure he'll love it. August 10th. Katsuki said he has an important business trip tomorrow. And it was already all done shopping. I can't even give him my present. August 11th. Well, today makes six years, Katsuki. I know work is rough. I was too harsh on the phone yesterday. I'm sorry. August 25th. Kazuki called to say he'll be back tomorrow. It feels like it's been so long. I'd better meet him at the airport. The entry's in here. I'm sorry. Akari. I'm sorry. That's an ending. Sweetheart's diary. And it definitely seems like some kind of limbo. Hey, where are you? Wait for me. Oh, now we, uh, we got some... Got a little pot plant here. Change it up a bit to get some more blood. Ah! <laughs> I think she's... I think she's pretty pissed. Blue screen of death, No. Oh god. I've just been Akamud. He just raging demoned me. What happened over here? 
a fireplace. Ah, really. uh, okay. Okay. Seems like you're always out here. Something went on in the background, and I wasn't able to tell. Sometimes I wish I could just come home and, like, have a nice dinner and not be haunted by, uh, things like that. Yeah, okay. It's cool, though. Damn, I wish you'd stop doing that. What do you want to do to me, Ar... Arkari? Oh, you want to send me a letter. Okay. I think she wants me to die. I'll come meet you tomorrow. So is every... every ending just like a day? Oh god, she's coming. She wants my blood. Um... Hey! Nice to see you again- Oh wait, no! You're a bit blue, but I can still work with that. Akari. Hi. Um... Hugs? Akari, come here. Hopefully. I won't let you be alone. I'll do whatever I can. I won't leave you. Yeah. Really, really. I'm glad. Now you can die. Oh wait, no, actually it turned out quite well. The power of hugs. Now that the ending was happy, time to find all the other bad endings. You've passed on. Whoa! That's meta as hell. See you. Yeah, okay game. Yeah, that's that's cool. Oh, okay. Now uh, now I'm the chick, yeah. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, these things are normal now. In comparison... The fireplace connects to the mirror world. Hello? I'm coming to see you. Well, we cut straight to the point, didn't we? This is the Daily News. Yesterday morning, a woman was run over by a car. Seriously wounded. She passed away this morning. 
It's news from last month. Maybe I should just go to sleep. This place is kind of freaky, but you know, whatever. Same ending. It's so different from the other ending, but it's considered a different ending, apparently. Uh, the fireplace. I'll turn it on this time. Let's turn this off. I'm gonna just, just wait here, just let her keep knocking. doing anything. I guess I have to answer it. Hey, um, hey, um, ex-dead girlfriend. Kari, I... Kari, I'm not dead yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? <laughs> no, how about I just pop your head off? Oh, so the happy ending actually reset the game. But the bad ending didn't. Oh, okay, chair. The phone doesn't ring anymore nowadays. I guess I'm fedangled. Nice kind of smile, I guess. Why? Does Hakari keep calling? It couldn't be. The phone is haunted. Hello. Hakari, listen. I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. This is the same as the... The other ending is, she's just gonna come in and pop my head off now? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> You've passed on. Oh. Hello? Akari, listen. I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? God, this is weird. His, his head just... Uh-oh.
on Mood Read. What sticks in there? What the? Hey, I know tomorrow's our anniversary, okay? But I certainly just can't just go whenever I want. Wherever I want. Why can't you understand that? I don't get it. Not one bit. I mean, I've never missed it before. So, I'm not sorry. And this isn't funny. Why there's so many endings and variations? Like, holy crap. Let's see, is this the same ending as his version? Yeah, it is. Screw you, bear. Kazuki, that call I got, it was from you, right? Enough of this, okay? It's not doing any good for us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Kazuki, what do you want from me? You want me to read this diary, boy? Okay. August 9th. In two days, it will be six years of dating Akari. I suppose I should treat her to a special meal. I bet she'll love it. August 10th. Akari said she has an important business trip tomorrow. What a shame. I had a present and everything. August 11th. Today makes six years, Sakari. I know work is rough for you, too. I'm sorry for what I said on the phone yesterday. August 25th. Akari called and said she'll be back tomorrow. It's felt like so long. I should meet her at the airport. Some kind of weird parallel thing going on here. Sure. Oh, TV. That's, wait, that's me! What? Mm-mm-mm, boyfriend, I ain't answering. What do you want to do to me, Kazuki? Maybe he was the dead one all along. Yeah, okay, what happens if he throws a letter in here? You just get blocked my way? Oh, okay. So now we're pretty much leading into the same thing.
Hello, I am the spirit of your boyfriend. Stop. Kazuki. Kazuki? Kazuki. Oh, I see. We scream. Akari! Is that you, Akari? Akari, hold out your hand. Come quick. Kazuki, where are you? Uh-oh. Quick, grab my hand. Is that Kazuki? Is it really, really? I said hurry. I never love her. Are we? What? At least it skips straight to, like, the meats and bones of things. That's a lot of little checks and flags going on in the save file. Hey, baby. Sorry, it's the last time we'll see each other. Akari! Is that you? Akari! Ah, uh, it's the same dialogue. Akari, hold out your hand. Is, is that Kazuki? Is it really, really? I said hurry! Don't let go. I'll pull you up. Kazuki! Akari. Let's get out of here. Right. Love your shenanigans, ghost lovers. We're gonna... We're gonna jam to some kind of... Tropical tunes that seem kind of ill-fitting. When I heard Akari, I desperately reached for her. To save an Akari who shouldn't exist. The girl whose hand I'm holding now... Is it the real Akari? That question didn't seem to matter. <laughs> it's like, hey, oh, you're a ghost too? Hell yeah, I'm a ghost. No, oh, let's uh, let's have some dinner together sometime. Yeah, that'd be great. So, what's your hobbies? Oh, I like to haunt people, you know, murder them and stuff, and trap them in like some weird homes. Oh, that's my hobby too. Oh, what a coincidence. True end. Mirrored lovers. I know. Well, that is it for Hello, Hello. I believe that is most, if not all, the endings. For the most part, I think that's all of them. So, this is a pretty... This was a pretty cool game. I... Was surprised. I wasn't actually expecting it. I thought it was gonna be like some little cliche thing. Well, not cliche, but I didn't expect it to have this kind of scripting rather, where it would actually 
reset the kind of game and keep track of what you've done and change accordingly, and then kind of mirror world it. And I'm assuming, I'm assuming your girlfriend or boyfriend did die, and these were like parallel dimensions or something. Like in this one dimension, boyfriend's being haunted by the spirit of his uh, dead girlfriend who made dinner for him and did all this stuff. And in the other dimension, the girlfriend is the one alive, and the boyfriend was the one who made the dinner and all that stuff. And he was the one who died and haunted her. And so in the true ending, they he pulls the girlfriend out of her dimension to his, and they run off, thereby saving each other. But they've never actually met each other, theoretically. That's why he says, oh, I don't know if it's the real Akari or not, but it doesn't really matter. And then their ghosts, you know, kind of meet, and they're like, hey, you know, we're dead, you're dead, we're the same person, kind of, let's hang out. So, your ghosts got together, and your selves got together, essentially, which is a nice ending. Um, so it was a pretty cool game overall. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see all you guys later.